All right, we're here. Draft day. A day we all been waiting for. At least I've been waiting for, man. It's been a long, a long season. Who we want, boys? Who we want? Who we want? Hello, Isaiah Collier. Hello, Ron Holly. Zach Eady. Khalil Ware. I'm okay with Isaiah Collier. I'm okay with Kella Ware. Deron Holmes. AJ Mitchell. Keyshawn George. Tristan De Silva. Uh, Jared McCain. Or uh, Tyson. Anywhere else. Whoa. Those is my deal. Any of those yeah. present good. The Miami Heat select Khalil Ware. Fuck. That's good. From Indiana University. That's good. Good. Him. Damn. Jesus Khalil Ware. Tough. 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 I did I did I didn't want Khalil Ware, I ain't gonna lie. The emotions. But Kali is still on the board. Kali is still on the board. McCain's still on the board. Connect still on the board. Tristan De Silva's still on the board. I want one of those three. Philadelphia 76ers select Jared McCain yep. from yep. University. Yep. Two more picks, y'all. Two more picks. Connect or Collier? I'm down, boy. Or to Silva. Those are my three. Come on, I kind of want Collier. I ain't gonna lie. I kind of want Collier. Damn, I'm stressed. He just kept doing it. So you had to get in on that French tip action. Yeah. Whoa. That really does sound inappropriate, but. Whoa! Pause! Dalton Connect, the Silva, and Collier are still here. What are those three? We're good, bro. What are those three? We're good. Keyshawn George, I'd be like, all right. And with the 17th pick in the 2000 I'm not checking my phone no more. NBA draft, the Los Angeles Lakers. It's not gonna be Collier. Dalton Connect. Yeah, Dalton Connect. Yeah. 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 It's a good pick. Tristan De Silva. Isaiah Collier is on the board. Deron Holmes. Orlando Magic select. Tristan Da Silva. Tristan Da Silva. Okay. Munich, Germany. Tristan Da Silva right before us. I know the Raptors were looking at that like he'd be a perfect fit. Not super high in these Missy. But it is what it is. Whoever we pick is who we pick. With the 19th pick in the 2024 NBA draft, the Toronto Raptors select Jacoby Walter from Baylor University. Jacoby Walter. Jacoby Walter. Uh, I would have gone a couple of different Jacoby directions, personally. To personally. Kobe Bryant. We need shooting. We need shooting. We need shooting. All right, let me go. Let me go to Twitter. Shot off quickly and from deep, and is especially good coming off screen. And so Jacoby Walter and Grady. Interesting. Me, I didn't have him as the best available exactly. remaining, but that's just me. So we'll see what else what else they do here. It's the next day, man. I'm feeling a little bit better overall. I've gone through the tape. I've seen a little bit more of the potential upside. I still think a lot has to go right for a player to reach that upside. But in terms of the Jacoby Walter pick, I'm actually a little bit more on board with it. And I'm excited to see what he can do in Toronto. So overall, I'm still very happy. Okay, realistically, you know, just to bring in new talent to this team and a uh, player that you know, for the majority part of this year was supposed to be a higher pick that fell to us a little bit at 19. I'm happy with that. Now, taking a look at today in the NBA, we do see we traded for off night. Well, let me see if I can get it here. Y'all got to explain to me how this is even able to happen. We trade Jalen McDaniels. I promise you, Sacramento, it's not Jaden. It's Jalen McDaniels. We traded Jalen McDaniels for Davion Mitchell, Sasha Vizhenkov, who I think actually has, you know, a lot more he could potentially show in the NBA, and two second-round picks, the number 45 pick in this year's draft, and I believe it's Portland's pick in next year's draft for 2025, a much, like, quote-unquote stronger draft class. With Portland, you assume they're still not going to be a great team next year. That's probably going to be a top-10 pick in the second round. Like, that's... That's tough. That's tough. Masai. Can we say? Can we say Masai is back? Can we say that? Because I feel like we keep going back and forth. Like, oh, we, he's oh he's washed. He's back. Masai is back. You got to love the direction the team is going in overall. So I don't want to overreact to any individual pick. I think the combination of who we're bringing into this team already is making the team a lot deeper. So let's start with Jacoby Walter. So we do know the shooting uh, potential. Uh, even though we didn't shoot at a crazy uh, high percentage this year, there's a lot of talk in some of the you know post reactions that I've listened to that is talking about 
his shooting mechanics being on point. High level to the fluidity in his shots. Um, there's some potential, maybe not to create a giant amount of separation, but if you look at the way he he maneuvers around the court, I don't I don't want to say no names and get nobody excited, but like a super watered down book is what I would say. The defense is just not there as of right now. Watching some full game tapes can be tough on that end, but there's still a lot to like for that overall. Also bringing in Sasha Vachenkov, who's a huge shooter. If you look at some of the stuff in the EuroLeague, you know, I think, was it EuroLeague MVP? Somebody gotta let me know. I think it was EuroLeague MVP, not this past year, the year before, and it just did not work out in Sacramento for a variety of reasons, but really, really great shooter. Not super mobile, like the all that stuff looks a little bit iffy. We'll have to see how it all works. But a big body, was he six seven, six eight? He's probably gonna play the three four. You don't want him to try and do a lot of moving around. You know, his lateral quickness is not necessarily a strength for him, from what I've seen. And it just didn't work out in Sacramento. That doesn't mean it couldn't be a huge payoff for Toronto. Then you look at also adding uh, adding Jonathan Mogbo. I love that pick. I love that pick. I think he's so versatile. I don't think there was a lot of players that did what he did in this year's draft. I thought he was one of the better prospects at that big wing position that are like high motor, high energy, but have tremendous feel. His passing is crazy. You watch some of the highlights, the passing is crazy with Jonathan Mogwo. Um, and then Jamal Shedd, another guard, really good defender, a winner, kind of in the Kyle Lowry mold. I know everybody's going to say that, but it is what it is. Like, it's he's not a crazy solid three-point shooter coming out of college what was kyle's knocks and things like that like it reminds me so much of villanova kyle uh with jamal shed so we're gonna see but i love the influx of players we've got there's a lot of questions about gary etc and like who's gonna be around who's not gonna be around but as of today it's a great day it's a great day it's a great day to be a raptors fan a lot of new talent on the roster you just gotta think man at any point now in the upcoming season we can just we can just throw Davion Mitchell and Jamal Shedd at the other teams of pulling guards. All right, maybe they're not both ready to play, et cetera, et cetera. But those are two very interesting players, man. And I can't remember who who said that. I think it was Ka'Andre from who, Intellect. Great channel, obviously. Um, but he said, imagine trying to dribble or be a guard in those Raptors practice. I'm like, nah, that is that is for real. That is going to be the most ferocious backcourt defense in practice. Because I don't know how many times we're going to see them together. But we might see dual point guard lineups, you know. I have a feeling the Raptors might trend somewhat smaller at the two guard spots and then try and be big everywhere else. Because, like, there is so many guards on the roster now. We have to see how it works. A couple of the guards are going to have to, you know, move over to the wing. Like, you know, Grady's going to have to play three. I mean, Grady has the height to play three. He just doesn't have the body as of this time. So we'll see if he can absorb more contact on defense, etc. Jacoby Walter is going to have to play a little 2-3 at times. But I love having Mabo. I love having Scotty to really play that four position. I mean, Mabo maybe in some small ball five, maybe. if Maybe if you have Scotty beside them, like, you could probably do a 5-4 lineup like that. Um, we still got Kelly and Yak. I would still like another big man. I feel like that should be a position that they go at in free agency is just get another... I don't even know. I haven't even really thought about what type of big man. Because at first, maybe I say, you know, a vertical spacer, like a lob threat. But do we have that already with Mambo? Like, I'm now 100%. Shouts out to Samson Folk. He's the person that I've seen tweet this. He was saying, uh, Wiseman. I'm right there with you, brother. I'm right there with you. Let's let's go. Let's go see what it do. Let's go see what it do. Let's see what he got. I'm I'm very open for it at this point. This is the fun time as a franchise. Just getting young players and just being excited, seeing what happens, what you know what I mean? All that is just going to be fun and enjoyable. And just, I just want a more positive season. That's all I really want, end of the day. I want a more positive season, um, positive season than last year, better vibes. I feel like we've been looking at for that for like the last two years. It was like two years ago, the vibes were bad. And then everybody was on vibe alert all season last year. It was just, it was just a lot, man. It's just a lot. But excited you should be excited too we'll have more videos and summer league is coming up there will be more things that we can look at and break things down but overall good two days here with the nba draft if there's any on uh if there's any free agent acquisitions or two-way contracts i probably won't have it at the time of this video but you know we can talk about that in a future video that being said love love the draft love the raptors uh appreciate y'all i'm out of here apparently we're not done like damn y'all Okay, tuning in, tuning in.
Raptors the picked up the yeah. 57 yeah. pick in the draft as I'm well. Trying. Let's Sometimes let's see what they do. Welcome. Didn't they just say that they didn't want that many rookies? And now how many rookies do we have? Three? What are you doing? Four after this pick? What are we doing, y'all? I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I, I think if the, a season to have rookies would be this season. All right, this is our pick, y'all. It's headed to Toronto. Let's go. With the 57th pick in the Ulrich 2024 Chomchi. NBA Draft, the Memphis Grizzlies select Ulrich yep. Shamshe from Bafang, yep. Cameroon, All right. and the NBA All Academy right. Africa in Senegal. Good pick. I like it. Interesting. At 57, I like it. Ulrich Shamshe, the first NBA Academy Africa. He stretched the floor. Ulrich Shamshe, only 18 years old, the youngest player drafted. Damn, we got a young team. I'm lit, though. This young kid. I'm lit, though. Ulrich Shamshe, again, the first ever attempt wow. NBA Academy. Wow. That's a lot of draft picks. Ulrich Shamshe at number 57. So let's take a look back overall. Jacoby Walters at 19. At 31, Jonathan Mokbo, 45, Jamal Shedd. At 57, Ulrich Chomchi. We also add Davion Mitchell and Sasha Vachenkov. In one, in like two days, we added six players to this team, which I like. I like. Let's, should we go over the depth chart? Let's go over the depth chart really quickly. PG. We got Quick. As of right now, Davion off night. Jamal Shedd, right? Three there, and then maybe Canton as well, right? All of a sudden, we got a lot at the point guard position. Maybe our most loaded position at the moment. Gary at the moment. Grady. Uh, Jacoby. I could put um, Ochai here. I think Ochai is going to have to play the three on this team, so I'm just going to go. I'm going to put him at the three. Small forward. We have RJ. Ochai. Would Vachenkov be here? I'll say Sasha's a three. I think it's kind of a three-four, but we'll put Sasha uh, Vachenkov here. Power forward. We have Scotty, uh, Mogbo. We have Boucher at the moment. I know we have Bruce Brown at the moment too, but like, you know what I'm saying? All right, center. Yak, Kelly, Ulrich. Let's just count this, because this is the people we would expect, except for maybe Gary. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. That's not even including Gary. I wasn't including Gary in that count. And Chris Boucher. So Gary, Chris Boucher, Bruce Brown. You assume those guys are gone. Maybe Ulrich is on a two-way. That could that could very well be a two-way, to be honest. So maybe okay, you add you keep Gary or, or like Bruce Brown or something. That's probably and we still got some, like, are we going to draft or sign anyone in free agency? I feel like we have to, no? Interesting. Interesting. And, like, you know, maybe maybe they don't keep Sasha Vachenkov, but I feel like it'd be an interesting player to take a look at. You know what I mean? So, interesting. 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 All right, man. What y'all think, man? There's a lot to talk about. Uh, I'm very curious. How do you feel like the draft went? How would you grade all the picks? Um, I'm probably giving... B to Jacoby, uh, Jacoby, uh, Mabo, I do like B plus, A minus, Shed, I do B plus, A minus, All Rich, I do like B, B minus, something like that. It's 57 pick, like, what are we, what are we scaling on? You know what I'm saying? Anyway, let me know down in the comments down below. Uh, appreciate all y'all, and I'm out. Damn.